All right, are you using a window manager and you wanna get your media keys working again? I'm talking about the keys on top of your keyboard where you can play and pause the music, skip to the next track, and all of that jazz. And if you're using a window manager, then you know that that functionality doesn't come out of the box. You're gonna to have to do it yourself. And we're gonna do it with this very simple utility called Player CTL. This is a command line utility that is basically like a universal remote for all kinds of different media players. So with this one tool, you can control all your different video players like MPV, VLC. You can control Spotify, MPD, uh, YouTube video playing in your web browser, anything like that. And I'll show you how you can set this up as well as do a few more useful things. For example, maybe you want to have uh, the currently playing song in your status bar. You can do that with Player CTL. I'll show you how to do that as well. And so this might sound very simple, but there are a few things that are useful to know about this application. So I'll go over everything in this video. Let's just get started. So Player CTL is a command line tool, obviously. And so you would just install it. Uh, if you're on Arch Linux, then it's going to be in the default or the official repositories. Just go sudo pacman-s player ctl. That will install it. And once you have that installed, you can go player ctl and just run that to get all the different options. Uh, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of different things here. But first things first, let's see which player that it's actually going to target first. So like I said, it can control many different applications like your video player or your music player. But first, let's see all the available media players with dash dash list all. So this will show that I currently have Spotify, Chromium, and MPD open. And by default, player CTL will just grab the first item on this list and control it only. So if I want to run some command like player CTL play, then of course it will play the Spotify client that I have open. As you can see it is now playing right now. And we can go ahead and pause that with pause. It is now paused. And if you actually want to target something else like MPD, then you would just type dash dash player and then MPD. And it's now playing my MPD client right here. But if you're like most people, you probably don't want to have to specify which media player that you want it to target. You probably just want it to automatically decide for you which one you want to play, pause, which one you want to control at any given moment. And so Player CTL also has a daemon that it includes. It is called Player CTLD. And what this will do is it'll automatically determine which media player you're using or whichever one you used last and then only work on that one. So if you played Spotify last, then it will pause that. If you played a YouTube video last, it will pause that and so on and so forth. And so we do need to start this up. And what you can do is you can add something to your startup script. So for example, I'm using BSPWM. So I can go into my startup file. This is all the commands that it runs whenever I start up my session. And you can add a command called player CTLD daemon. Let's stick an and on the end of that. And if you put this in your startup script, then it will start the player CTL daemon as well. But there's also another way to do this. If you would rather start it up with systemd instead of putting this in your startup script, uh, we can actually create a new file in .config slash systemd slash user called playerctld.service. Let's open this up. And you can just copy and paste this inside of this file. And all this is is just something I got from the Arch Wiki. And I'll leave a link to this in the description, but you can just copy this. Let's save it, you don't need to change anything. And then you would just start it with systemctl enable player ctld dash dash user. And once you run this command, it will tell player ctl daemon to start up every time your user logs in. So that will now be started up automatically from now on, you don't have to do anything else. And now when you run any of these commands like player ctl play, or there's a better command called play pause, which will play or pause it, depending on if it's playing right now. And that will just get the last used media player, which is what we want. But we don't really want to just type these inside the terminal every time we want to change something. Of course, we want to bind these to our media keys. So for me personally, for my hotkeys, I am using this application called SXHKD. And it's going to be right under here. And of course, if you're using something else to manage your hotkeys, then you would just open up that. For me, I'm just using SXHKD, so that's what I'm using. 
But let's open this up and it's going to look something like this. And the hotkeys are going to be called this XF86 Audio Play or Audio Preve or Audio Next if we're talking about the previous and next buttons. And of course, this is just a little bit of shorthand for SX8KD. Uh, you could just write something like this instead. But in my instance, I would just restart SXHKD and that would work properly. Now I can use my media keys in order to control this, skip to the next track. That is all working correctly. And again, if you want a complete list of every single command that you have with player CTL, you can just run player CTL. And you can even change the volume and get the status if it's currently playing or paused. If you want any additional information, Oh, and I forgot to mention, but you can also exclude one of these if you don't want this media player to be controlled by your media keys. So for instance, whenever Chromium first came out with the feature where you can control your web browser with the media keys, I personally didn't like it at all. So what you can do is you can run player CTL dash dash ignore player and then pass in something like, let's say Chromium. And let's just say Chromium, no specific instance. And if you want to select multiple ones, you can put a comma here, maybe say Spotify as well, but let's just say Chromium. And then you can just run whatever command like play, pause, and this command will play or pause any media player except for Chromium. And so I can just run dash dash list all. And as you can see, it, it no longer shows up even in the list of all the different media players. So if you want to exclude a certain program, then you can do that as well. But finally, let's talk about one more useful item that you may want to use, and that is going to be the metadata field right here. Let's clear this out and run player CTL metadata, and then you'll need to pass in whatever you want to see here. Maybe you want the title of the currently playing song. So this is getting the title. You can get the artist and, of course, the album that it's coming from. And so that's all well and good, but if we wanted to get everything all together, then we would pass in dash dash format. And then you can kind of make your own string right here with these uh, curly brackets right here. So we can make something like artist dash title. We can even throw in a little bit more if we want the album here as well. So we can get a complete string with everything we need to know about this. And of course there are other variables as well. If you want the complete collection, it's going to be under the manual. So you would just find format here. And as you can see, we have all these different variables right here. So you can make whatever string that you want. So check that out if you want even more detail from the currently playing track. For me, I'm personally okay with just the artist and the title. And so if you want to have it in your status bar, then for me personally, I am using polybar. So let me open up config slash polybar slash config. And let's just go down here and I've created a custom script right here that will basically do what I just showed you. It will get the metadata and format it. So that's what this is right here, this now playing script. And most of this is not too important. I'll leave a link to my GitHub so you can copy this if you wish. But all I'm doing is I'm creating a custom module and we're just running the player CTL metadata dash dash format like I showed you. And then we're just displaying it here with a music note, updating it every one second. And then we're just adding it to the modules on the right, this now playing module. And that's how we get this little snippet right here. But of course, if you have a really long song title, it might just be way too long and push everything else out of the way. So it would be pretty easy to create or find a script that would uh, crop it for you. So if it gets too long, it will just uh, only display the first part of the name. But I'm not going over that in this video. That is too much. I'm still trying to figure out if I like having this in my status bar. I'm not 100% sure yet, so maybe I'll just leave it off for now, but in the future I might include that as well. But that is all there is to player CTL. Like I said, there's not too much to it, but once you get it set up, then it is pretty useful. Now you can control any media player on your computer with just a few button presses. So if you haven't already, check out player CTL, and I'm sure you'll find it as useful as I do.